Yes, indeed. You know I got something to say about something. Again. Otherwise, it ain't nothing to be said at all. So I come across a news story. It appeared in the seven-year-old girl was shot. Of course, due to the, 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 the bad result of a, a domestic violence or a not so good uh, situation between the mother and the father. And uh, I just wanna <clears throat> kind of come on with a PSA today. Uh, first of all, don't ever let <clears throat> an argument get so bad that it drives you to the most primitive point of doing bodily harm and possibly even killing somebody. Don't let it get that far. You are too far into your primitive ooga booga caveman mind, underdeveloped, in your lowest frequency, when you can be that angry. And I'm going to consider it displaced anger. And anger can be f fuel for something to get, you get to enact change. It can be. But you gotta, it's a, it's a threshold, it's a thin line, it might even be a gray area there, but you got not a lot of wiggle room before anger just become mad, just, you just, you're not being logical anymore. Like, you didn't take the anger and use it as a proper fuel to push you forward to enact a positive change or to stay on task to get something done that that would uh, be a positive impact. You, you, you don't let the anger get too far. Grown folk, adults, whatever you want to call yourself, uh, if you got to be in an argument, you got two options, fight or flight. You can battle it out. Hash it out. Stay in it to win it. Whatever. Or you can walk away from the situation. Get out of the situation. So you can get some fresh air. Clear your mind. Come back with hopefully more logical, more sensible uh, solutions to whatever caused the argument in the first place. And if you got to be arguing so regularly, because arguing, it has a health component. Sometimes you got to, you got to debate a little bit, or you got to, you got to have disagreement. Okay, disagreement, debate. That's a little bit different. That's more on the higher frequency of, of the, the thing. But arguing, fussing, fighting. A lot of times in an argument. You not listening for the other side anyway. You just you you are like a geyser. You are erupting whatever you have been holding on to, suppressing, whatever, and just letting it out. Okay. In an argument, try to protect your mind. Try to protect your heart. Try to protect your chakras. <laughs> no, seriously. Try to protect your being from allowing you to go too far. Men especially, men. Come on now, fellas. Don't don't let yourself get to that dark space when you're angry, okay? In fact, I would argue that angry is the dark space because there's levels to get to angry. Because angry, it's like wit's in. Disappointed, not so much. Uh, befuddled. Uh, so, but now, now seven year old. Uh, what I what I what I read up on because because I, I saw it on Facebook. I shared it and I I read it a little bit and I stopped because I was like that's all I need to know. Like why is this baby ch getting shot? And you got to remember there's a lot of innocent people. Bystanders, victims, they got nothing to do with whatever it is you're arguing about. And even if they are around about the part of the subject, because parents, y'all do do a lot of arguing around the subject of your children. You do. However, 
if you ain't on the same team, on the same page on how to deal with them children, them children are inadvertently winning and causing disrupt between team parent. Because remember, you're a team. There is no I in team. There's a lot of I, I, I going on if y'all arguing in the first place. You got to be on the same team. Children manipulate. They figure this out. It's like almost a natural tendency to actually get to this point where they know who the good parent is, who the bad parent is. They know whose buttons to push, how to push them. And it starts as early as two years old, maybe even one. They only going to learn behavior and, and emulate and copy their behavior. You know what I mean? So they only are carbon copies of you. Okay? You the example. And if arguing back and forth is all you doing in front of them, that's what you're going to get out of them. That's pretty much going to be part of their character development. That's, that's what you're going to get. So anyway, the story, apparently, an argument. The mother trying to flee with the child. The mother got in the car with the child. They in the car. The man so angry. He's so angry. Right? He's in that primitive mind now. Okay? There ain't no logic here. Logic ain't there. No logic, common sense, none of that. No no awareness of consequence, none of that. He done got there. He done got too far. He in the weeds. He in the weeds, y'all. He done took a shotgun gun. Fired some shots into the car. Then hit the baby, I think, in the shoulder or something like that. Luckily, uh, it was non-fatal injuries. I think she's recovering and uh, is in... Stable condition. Some I think I remember seeing because I, I watched a little uh, video snippet too, and the reporter was reporting that. But the reporter shouldn't have had to report nothing like that. That's the moral of the story. It's ridiculous. Okay. And and uh, uh funny because I was watching this new. There's a new Netflix show by uh, Jamie Fox. That's my dog and David L and Gree, good Lord. Anyway, um, it's called uh, Dad Don't Embarrass Me or something like that. But uh, he said in there like they were saying something like y'all need counseling, and then like you know Jamie Foxx, he said they gonna turn to get on talking about black people. Don't do therapy or whatever. Don't get counseling. Whatever he said, I'm just laughing. But it is kind of easy throwing out an actual factual statistic with you know. Black people think we exempt or something. I don't know. Too embarrassing to do it or whatever. But the fact of the matter is, if you can't talk to your significant other without an argument, if you can't talk to your siblings without an argument, if you can't talk to your parents without an argument, you know, or feeling like they're not receiving and understanding what you're going through, you got to go find somebody to talk to because it's, it's like a geyser. It's a geyser. And that's why I like a lot of times in arguments, people don't listen to the other party because they got so much they want to say that once they get going, they just saying stuff almost to hear themselves talk because they really like searching for, am I getting this out? Am I being heard? I hear me clearly. Let me make sure they hear. That's why I get louder and louder and louder, right? It's like, well, damn, you you, you want a microphone? Like, you you going to be that loud? You, you need a stadium audience? Hold on. We need to sell out the LCA. <laughs> Ford Field, you need, you need, you, you really, you need a mass audience because you loud as hell. You can't use, you can't use your inside voice no more because now the yelling is, is a derivative of the energy and so much on you that you got to get out. So take that as, as the, if you're in an argument, just understand that that's it. Let it out. But you can't let it get you to that point where you do something that's going to cause bodily harm to somebody else. And I'd even say destroy property. But if you had to choose between the two, go ahead and destroy some property. Get it out your system. That's why in martial arts we got kick bags, heavy bags, kick shields, and slap pads, you know, matted floors. You, you want to bang something, but you don't want to hurt your arm or your hand. Hit the mat, you know. One day I was so upset about something. I was wailing on one of the kick bags with uh, screamer sticks, so much so. So much so that the head instructor sent me home for the day. But I was getting it out so that I could be okay for the day. But he sent me home. Because I felt much better. But they never seen me in that state before. 
So he sent me home. But I got that anger out. I got that ill feeling out. And I took it out on a thing and not a person. So, But I don't like to hear it when, as it involves kids, children should not be victimized. That's not fair to them. And if you ain't adult enough to understand this prior to the argument, to where one or both, but at least one of you, has got to remove yourself from the argument before it get too bad. You have got to let cooler heads prevail. And you have got to talk to somebody. You have got to get your feelings in check. Because I don't like to hear that. That hurt my heart when I hear children that getting shot and, and hurt and stabbed. Then the man barricaded himself for a while, I think, until the wee hours of the morning before they got him out the house. They had to lock down the area over there in Chicago and Apple Line. I forgot the street, but um, West Side over there. So, but anyway, we got to do better, grown folk. We got to do better. It's options. It really is. You know, opposite or worse is better. Choose wisely. Mm.